I do feel stuck sometimes. I question why I haven't made such an effort to get out into the world and explore. 27 years old and I haven't been anywhere outside of Australia yet. I've been holding myself back, getting comfortable with the idea that this is all that's on offer for me. The lead up to this journey was a massive question mark. At the very beginning, I used the camera as a way to mask how nervous I was. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> it was like a magnet. This one? Something that connected me with everyone I met. The further off road we went, the more comfortable I felt. There's so many things that I love about being here. Something as simple as waking up early and seeing where the day leads. I was worried about a kick to the face, but it's gone good. Smooth sailing. Discovering a village where families welcome me into their hut to try their special coffee brews. <laughs> I'd probably prefer a three-quarter latte back home. Tasting honey so fresh that was beautiful and rich and sweet and messy. So good. <laughs> but I think the defining moment for me was when I put the camera down and Border picked it up. He wanted to take photos of me and what I was doing. As I was learning about his tribe, he was learning about me. It's not easy. I got laughed at by the whole community, <laughs> just making a fool of myself trying to cut down one of these plants. <laughs> and I was using the wrong side of the knife. <laughs> what? Just to be able to have a laugh with people, I think that was a really powerful thing. Maybe I was just in a shell before, that I think this experience has cracked wide open. I've always researched and read things about the world, but it is nothing like what I've experienced here. <laughs> Physically going and exploring, having the senses come to life, the smells, the taste of the food, the sound of the language and the smiles, it's like nothing else. Having a camera, you actually see things in a different way. It helps you understand how you see the world.